Hello, everybody. How are you doing today? My name is Tony Rosano, and this is another episode of the world famous University of Love, the best podcast in one, two, three galaxies. But, ladies and gentlemen, you and I, we just call this show Online Marketing Moves, and we are coming to you live today. Today is Monday, May the 13th, 2024. Ladies and gentlemen, you know why? A lot of times when you listen to this podcast, as soon as I hit record, for some reason, I chuckle. And you know why? Because I always find it funny to myself that I that I am recording this podcast. I am able to talk to you. I appreciate you for listening. I want to thank you for listening in advance. You know, it's very humbling sometimes when you think, you know, I know anybody could hook up a microphone and talk into it and upload it and record it. But a lot of people don't. And so, you know, because they think sometimes they don't have anything to say. But you'll be amazed at what you have the ability to do when you just put your mind to it. Now, ladies and gentlemen, today we are going to talk about something very important. We are going to talk about something that I've learned from my brother. It's a move. You know, sometimes you think, I cannot control the situation. I cannot control the the narrative. But actually, ladies and gentlemen, you can. And the reason why I bring this up is because, you know, one time I was talking to my barber and he's talking about, you know, trying to get his customers to, you know, to start because he started you hit you. You had to start booking appointments for haircuts on on an app. And my brother said he's having a hard time with this older clients because, you know, you know, back in the day, if you if you're young and you don't know this, but back in the day, you you would just go to the barbershop <laughs> and you would sit down and, you know, if somebody was in the chair, she, you know, the barber would say, hey, he's one person ahead of you. I'll be with you shortly. And you would sit there. And you would nod your head and you go, okay. And so you would hang out, chill out. Sometimes it would be an hour. Sometimes it would be 30 minutes. Sometimes you walk in, nobody would be in there. It was like Russian roulettes. You never knew what was going on. Nowadays, it's not like that. A lot of places now, a lot of people now make appointments. So my barber, he's decided, he said, nope, I'm going to have people make appointments. And people were still coming and they were still like, hey, I don't know, I make no appointment, no app. <laughs> and so he, he said he had to get rid of a lot of his older clients, the people that didn't want to, you know, uh, conform. He would have to get rid of them, you know. And sometimes it be, sometimes it just happens that way. You know, you want to, when you're, when you are running a business, granted, you do, you want customers and you want people to work with you. But at the same time, you still want to be able to do the things that you want to do, you know. If you're a person who does not like to get up in the morning, then you are not going to schedule appointments early in the morning. And you're going to tell people, I can't get I can't get with you in the morning, but I can get with you in the afternoon. And they say, well, afternoons don't afternoons don't work for me. I need mornings. And you just have to tell them, well, you you probably do, do not want to work with me because I only do afternoons. And so you have to stay in your ground and you have to be like, hey. You know, this is what I do. You know, you do not you do not always have to adhere to people. You do not always have to you know. Hey, what do you need? What do you want? You know, you don't have to be needy. You know what I mean? And so I thought about this because yesterday my brother, he took my mom out to eat my lovely mother. You know, he he took her out to eat. And my brother has a move. And I started to, and I started to notice it's just and it finally hit me yesterday. And I said, you know what? This this brother of mine has the same move. He will tell my mom, you know, every year he, because once I stopped in to visit on a Mother's Day, my brother, he was like, oh, I was going to take mom out to eat. And I'm like, when are you finna take our mom out to eat? And he said, Applebee's. And I said, Applebee's. And I thought to myself, you know, you are the Applebee's. Because me and my wife, we stopped going to Applebee's a long time ago. Applebee's used to be in our rotation. And my wife, not to get off on the subject, but, you know, in life, you know, in, in life, it's so funny how you start to go up and you, you know, when you get older and this is why you want to, this is why you want to make buku bucks kids. Okay. When you get older, it's just things you want to do. And, and it always seems to cost more money. I don't know why. 
older people like bigger cars. I want a bigger car. You know why? Because was me and my wife, for years, we had this Honda, and it was a two-door. Long before we had a baby, it was just me and my wife. It was, we had this little two-door Honda, you know. And I remember once I had to climb in the back seat, and I said, "Good God Almighty!" I said, "I'm not doing this." And I told, and my wife said, "When we had the baby son, we we got to get a bigger car." And I'm like, "You know what? You're right." And uh, we got a bigger car, and now I was telling my wife, "I'm like." I don't know about you, but I'm tired of climbing down in that car. I need something that's level, you know. And I'm getting, and it's getting, and it's getting like that with a lot of things, you know. The bed, you know, you want a nice bed. You want the bed to be a little bigger. You want it to be a little more plush, you know. A lot of things. You want more luxury when you get older because you're like, hey man, I've slept on a, I slept on a, on a mattress on the floor, you know, in an apartment, and I don't want to do that no more. I don't have to do that no more, you know. I make more money. So, you know, it's just it's just a natural progression. So don't ever don't ever think, you know, when you get older, it's like, man, I'm spending more money. No, you, you want more. You you are doing more investing in your body and investing in your and your comfort and being comfortable. It's not a you spending. It's the you investing. You know, as I get older I and I get more mature and smarter when it comes to all that kind of stuff. That's how you got to look at it. But anyway, I was talking, I was thinking about my brother because this brother of mine, first he used to take my mom to Applebee's. And then he said yesterday, he said, I'm taking our mom to IHOP. Now, if you don't know what IHOP is, International House of Pancakes. It's a lovely place, a quaint place. <laughs> uh, Yeah. But anyway, he, and the reason why I, I'm, I'm like, he took her there last year for a birthday, I believe. And I kept thinking, and I'm like, who likes IHOP? My brother loves IHOP. For his birthday, my parents, so they came to visit a couple years ago when the baby was about six months. They came, they told my brother, and I said, son, where do you want to go? Anywhere you want to go. Where do you want to go? My brother looked at my dad. My 46-year-old brother at the time, he looked at my dad and he said, dude, I just want to go to IHOP. And I said, you got to be kidding me, bucko. Out of all the places on God's green earth you want to go to, you want to go to IHOP. Ain't nothing wrong with IHOP. It ain't Waffle House. I know that much. Shout out to the Waffle House. But IHOP is okay. But I'm like, why does my brother, that my parents asked my brother, where, where, where do they want to go? Where does he want to go for his birthday? He told my mom, Mom, I'm taking you to IHOP. And my mom, she texted me. She said, your brother took me to his favorite restaurant, IHOP. She said, I enjoyed it. You know. And, my, and I called my mom on the phone. And I said, I said, how you like your son taking you to his, his favorite restaurant? She said, you know what? Food was okay. The meal was free. The company was good. So it's all right with me. And I thought to myself. Man, I got to, I got to start working this angle as my brother. When it comes to having customers, when it comes to having listeners, when it comes to having all that, you know, I, you you can dictate what you want to do to people. You know, I'm not saying you control them, you manipulate them, but what I'm telling you is you can dictate how you want things to be. You know, it doesn't matter whether it be you know email, whether it be how you work, you know. Um, I listened to uh, a Dan Kennedy book a couple weeks ago, uh, and he has a book about time management that I highly recommend, and I'm going to listen to it tomorrow, And because, you know, you want to get the time management down pat, you know, and uh, he talks about even when, from the time, not not when he became, because, you know, in life, people are like, you know, they see somebody that's famous or whatever, and they're like, it's John Hamm. But before John Hamm was John Hamm a madman, he was just John Hamm. <laughs> Struggling actor, trying to make it, you know. But now he's John Hamm, you know. Um, for some reason, a lot of times when people are famous, you never say that just their first name. You always, you know, nobody's like, you know, Michael, man, when he did beat it, you know. It's like, oh, Michael Jackson, MJ, or whatever you want to call him, you know. 
But uh, I say all this to say, you know, if you are working, you know, in a, you know, customer service, you know, you are, you are in the sales business, you in the, you, you, well, we are, we are all salesmen at the end of the day. Remember that we're all salesmen. Okay. Never forget that. Um, but you can dictate to people, you know, how you want, how you want things done, how you want to do things, how your schedule is, you know? And, uh, because my brother, he, he, I'm sure he came early in the morning, told my mom, Hey mom, we're going to AHA. Get ready. And so before noon, I'm sure this brother of mine took my mom up to IHOP, had a fed, had her back home. And he texted me in the afternoon yesterday and he said, Whew, I just woke up from afternoon nap. And I thought, this guy right here, man, this boy is this boy is one of the best. He my brother would have been if my brother would have put mine to uh, you know, if he'd have put his mind to it. Uh, salesman, he would have been he would have been great at because he likes people. He loves the skin and grin, you know. You, and you don't have to be a you don't have to be one of these people that love people to be a to be a great salesman. But I'm just saying, for my brother, he has an outgoing personality. He's a uh, friendly. He's a uh, <laughs> he has the Roscoe Pico train laugh. You know, if you don't know who Roscoe Pico train is, you can always look that up. But he has that laugh, you know. A key, 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 key. He, he loves to key, key, key with people and all this jazz, you know. And he loves to dictate his 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 project his life onto you, you know. It's funny. I always tell my brother he can go fly a kite, you know, or other other explicitives that I don't use on the podcast. But I know my brother, and so I'm I'm always trying to. I'm always trying to interject my life onto my brother, and he's always trying to do the same. And so sometimes we're just like two bulls, ramp, you know, <laughs> paused. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. But we're like two bulls sometimes, and, and nothing's gonna. It's like we're just not gonna. We're not gonna. We're not gonna get this thing going, you know. And it's uh, it is it is what it is when it comes to that. But you can dictate how you want things done to your customers, to your clients, to people in your life. You know, if you don't want to be bothered at seven o'clock in the morning from seven to eight a.m., you can always tell people, do not call me at seven, seven o'clock to eight a.m. And eventually they will, they will, they will listen. If they don't listen, block them until eight o'clock. You know, there are things around there. There are things, there are things that you can do to get people to listen. You know, and I'm not saying, you're going to do what I tell you to do, blah, blah, blah. No. Um, man, ain't nobody calling me after 10 o'clock at night, you know? It's just, people know. I'm not answering the phone at 10 o'clock at night, you know? I have a certain I have a certain window in my mind where I'm like, after this time, unless it's an emergency, I'm not answering that phone. I'm sure most people know that. I don't have to have, I, don't have, I haven't had a discussion with people, but, you know, I'm a married man with a wife and a baby. And I'm in my 40s. I do not want to, I'm not going to answer the phone after 9 p.m. I'm not going out to any clubs after 9 p.m. Those days are over with. 2001 is long gone, okay? And so, no phone calls at 3 o'clock in the morning. No phone calls at 2 o'clock in the morning, you know? None of that. You know? I'm asleep. People know this. I know this about people. And some things you just already know and some things you have to implement when it comes to your clients, you know, when it comes to, it's just like an email list. Uh, if you want, uh, I told you before, I, I wrote this email once and I told my email list, I said, I'm going to write a lot of emails this weekend. And I wrote like eight of them in one weekend, which is sending them out. And the lady wrote me, she said, Please stop emailing me. And I said, no, ma'am, not going to do it. And uh, I said, you can unsubscribe. But why would I, why would I, why would I just, why would I take my time to go do all that when you can just easily unsubscribe? And I said, no, we're not doing that. And so, ladies and gentlemen, you can always dictate how you want things done, you know, and if people don't listen, you can either get rid of them or you can let them be in charge of your life. Okay. I highly recommend you get rid of them, okay? Not to sound cruel, but it's just the way it is, you know? Everything can't be Pollyanna, all right? And so, ladies and gentlemen, 
that is it. We'll be back tomorrow with the all new episode of Online Marketing Moves. But until then, my name is Tony Zano. Thank you for listening. God bless each and every one of you. And as always, everybody, peace.